And mentioning that hip hop, some of the biggest names in hip hop are hitting the stage at Day in Vegas. It's a new festival and the first ever type of event happening at the Las Vegas Festival grounds, which are right at the corner of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us the potential impact to traffic and some of those surrounding businesses. Ready for a good time. Just enjoy the music. Feel the music. Just be in, in the crowd. Feel the moment. Many walk along Las Vegas Boulevard to attend Day in Vegas, a three day hip hop festival bringing in more than a hundred artists and big names to the Las Vegas Festival grounds. I like it. It's a different uh, scene. Roughly 60,000 tickets were sold for the inaugural weekend event, according to an MGM spokesperson, but there's no parking at the venue. Uh, where did you end up parking? Uh, Palace, Palace Station Hotel. Uh, right here. I don't know if that's probably a good spot or not. <laughs> A rat Hogan taking a chance by leaving his car across the street at a strip center, despite not visiting the stores. Oh, we're kind of just praying we don't get towed. We're concerned with parking, but uh, you know that's uh, that's on the landlord. Hopefully, they'll take some steps to ensure that we have our spots for our customers. But it's Michael Abdullah years. owns and Fuego Cigars. He welcomes the festival and potential business that may come through his door. We're going to stay open a little later. While walking to the festival, Hogan prepares to gamble on whether he'll return to a car. He plans to consider other parking options this weekend, including Circus Circus, Strat, and Sahara. All advertise free parking and are the closest resorts to the venue. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Now, if you don't want to worry about parking, it is suggested that you take ride share or a taxi, but expect a lot of traffic around that area if you're heading out to the Strip for the weekend.